My mother and father signed up to a common market, not to a political union, not to flags, anthems, presidents, and now you even want your own army. What do we want from Europe? If we want trade, friendship, cooperation, reciprocity, we don't need a European Commission. We don't need a European Court. We don't need these institutions and all of this power. And I can promise you, both in UKIP and indeed in the Brexit Party, we love Europe. We just hate the European Union. It's as simple as that. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this begins the end of this project. It's a bad project. It isn't just undemocratic, it's anti-democratic. And it puts in that front row. It gives people power without accountability. People who cannot be held to account by the electorate. And that is an unacceptable structure. Indeed, there's an historic battle going on now across the West, in Europe, America and elsewhere. It is globalism against populism. And you may loathe populism, but I tell you a funny thing, it's becoming very popular. <laughs> and it has great benefits. No more financial contributions. No more European Court of Justice. No more common fisheries policy. No more being talked down to. No more being bullied. No more Guy Verhofstadt. I mean, I mean, what's not to like? I know you're going to miss us. I know you want to ban our national flags, but we're going to wave you goodbye. And we'll look forward in the future to working with you as sovereign if you disobey the rules, you get cut off. Could we please remove the flags? Mr. Farage, remove the flags.